night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. He's ring walk. Something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. He's coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen, but they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. Have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. I want to see some Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. <laughs> Committing well now to that left hand over the top. A good block. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Digging in with a left to the gut. Seconds of round number one. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Keep it up. Here we go. Round two is underway. Gets rid of that effort. Back to the body. Good job protecting himself. That hook was well off the mark. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before. 
but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Lands a big hook. To the head he goes with a left hand. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. You see him holding on. That right hand serving him well. See him with the left of the head there. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In this case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Good job staying away from the danger there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Wow, what an uppercut. You're doing great. A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches, but his corner would disagree. He is not being effective. Oh, not at all. And why? Why is he not being effective? Because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Look at the way he has to throw it instead of just throwing it. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Good flush shot upstairs. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Keep moving. Keep Teddy, you gotta ball. like this. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Backing his opponent into the corner. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Wow, is he defensively sound. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. And now he digs in with that hook to the body. And that's the end of round three. Relax. Relax. There you go. You can do this. All right. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Just relax. Relax. Are you all right? Now I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Hasn't been a lot of distinct action so far that would give anybody a commanding lead in this fight. Although on Teddy's scorecard, you can see that he is up a round after three rounds. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Oh, 
was just off the mark. I don't want to criticize him too much, Teddy, because by going defensive here after being stunned, hey, this might be the right strategy to employ. As long as he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. <laughs> big shot, the left crashed home. What a big shot. Maybe the most destructive blow in all of boxing. That body shot is debilitating. He is down. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive that left right there focus, focus. hey I know he's not in great shape but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself nice work with the left hand a flush hook scores well for him takes one to give one uppercut in return oh he is stunned he could go down Plus shot, the left hand came in. Come on, breathe deeply. Inhale. Get some air in your lungs, all right? You're fighting his game plan. Box intelligently for me, all right? Come on. You're more intelligent than this. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice movement. Keep that up. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Able to dismiss it. Well-placed left hand there. Clean shot with the right. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Keep working the body. Left and right, left and right. Come on, get up. Keep moving, keep moving. Watch the hook. Good-looking uppercut that time. Up, up. On the mark with a straight left hand. Scored well up top. And that's the end of round five. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end a fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. All right. 
Come on, let's finish this. Keep going. Just keep going. You're doing great. But let's keep working out there, right? Don't save anything. Just let it go. Well, that was good. That was good. You took a lot out of me. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Good shot there with that left. Solid uppercut. Well, the quick read on this guy, if you watch this fight so far, is that he just doesn't jab enough. And that's the most basic thing in the world. You need that punch to make everything else happen. And now he scores with that left to the body. Committing now to the left hand, good straight shot. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Solid left hand to the head. That shot unable to land. Able to place the right hand in there. Scores with the left. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. I like the way he looked at the end of that oh, round. It looks like he's gaining now. some You're momentum here. Fight. Good competitive fight. Doing, and I do believe this. that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. Trickling, trickling, don't stand in front of him. Keep moving, keep the hands moving, and you'll beat him to the front. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Teddy, you've been in spots like this hundreds of times before, a fighter with a bad cut. What do you tell a guy? What you tell him is don't worry about that. Just do what you're supposed to do. I will take care of my job. You go out there, use your jab, move your head. Don't get any more cuts either, by the way. He brings a big power punch, and it landed well. Well, we've been talking. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. Yeah, he's aware that he has to be. And he ties up on the inside. More punches. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Pace yourself. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Use the jab. <laughs> Relax. Solid left hand. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Crashes home with the uppercut. Nice work, listen. 
I want you to go downstairs. They're upstairs, we got okay? It. Body to the head. Let's fix this. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hand in Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we start this eighth round. And I think this tells pretty much the story. Yeah, he's got a slight lead. However, there have been those moments where you see a defensive flaw. Yeah, the other guy's coming on fast. The defensive flaw is that he covers up too much. He blocks too many punches. And when you're blocking too many punches, while the guy puts punches together, some are going to get through. Some are getting through. Well, he's got to be careful here, Teddy, because I know he was stunned earlier, and he wants to tie up, he wants to clinch. But at that moment where you go to clinch, you're creating an opening. Yeah, you are. Your opponent can take advantage of that. He can take a little step back, make you fall in, and then bang, bang, bang. Gotcha. Put you in even worse shape. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good, solid shot, returning fire after being hit. <laughs> Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Comes with the right. Missed the body shot. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And round eight comes to an end. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. When he misses you with a punch, counter, we got it. counter. Nice one, nice right. one. Well, we Keep that, I've never felt beating like this. Keep the pressure up. You don't need that, no, throw that away. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed, isn't landing it. Solid left. You got this. One, two, one, two. Good flush shot upstairs. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Focus. Nice block. He goes to the gut with a right hand. Off the mark. Oh, what a left hand. Clinch, clinch. He goes from damaged goods 
to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instincts. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Blocks the headshot. That, you heard it. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. There's a nice left hand able to get in. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Taking a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his opponent at this point. Hey, look, even the great race cars, Indianapolis 500, bing, 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 zing, zing, zing. They're going around that track 250 miles an hour. They pull in for a pit stop. They got to get refueled. This is pit stop. Getting a little Time. gas. Time. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Missed that uppercut. Nice work. Relax, relax. Come on, boss, leave it. Take it to it. Let's go. Good step nice back work. counter punch there. It's time. Final ten seconds. And this round comes to an end. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in you. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, you threw a wide punch and he caught you. You're going to tighten up your punches, all right? Listen, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up on that jab and finish off with a hook, okay? Run. It's really his fight for the taking at this point. It's a close fight on your scorecard, and anything, of course, can happen. But if you watch the past few rounds, you can see he's taking control of this fight. Yeah, he's flying a kite right now. And guess what? The other guy's the kite. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Keep on your foot. Move, move. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot-shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something. And then... Solid shot. The left hand came in. You're doing great. 
scored well up top. He falls victim. Solid. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. it unable to rise up and beat the count a knockout victory walked right into that one let's make it official and for that we send it up to our ring announcer I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.